So welcome back to uh, another video of Jurassic World Alive, kind of. I'm kind of late on this, so if this gets like absolutely zero views, I'll know why. But I have a good uh, defense for that. Uh, it turns out, in after I made that one video, I, I've recorded two videos uh, since then. But it, it turns out when I said I was sick in my last video, uh, I was true. Because the very next day, I... <laughs> The very next day, it turns out that I was sick, and boy, have I not felt that shit in almost um, a year. Um, it, it got to the point where I was hoping that someone would come into the house and old yell at me, but that didn't happen, and which is the biggest reason why I'm making this video. Also, I, I was under a traumatic event where yesterday, or the other day at work, I saw two stupid kids, and... It's I, I can't even utter the words out. It was I, I've heard of IRL I, I I've heard of brain rot online, but I've never witnessed it firsthand, and I didn't realize how damaging that is to witness it. Like it, it it's like watching a car accident, but you can't but you know you can't do nothing about it because when the kid said that is so sigma, and then the other one decided to say what in the skibbity, I almost decided to just take one of the cantaloupes and bash my skull in. They were definitely iPad kids with an iPad mom. <coughs> if I, sorry for the jump scares, by the way, if I cough, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about the update 3.7. This was released on June 14th, 2024. And, uh, wait, what? Hold on. Uh, oh, that's the wrong one. Hold on. Let me, uh, <laughs> let me get the right update. Hold up. Okay. Here's the right update. I was wondering why uh, it was June 14th. Cause I'm like, hold up. Wait, that, I, I left June 13th. Why, why why is it only a day later? But uh, that is definitely a tiger moment right there. Uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the uh, show. I'm about to read the patch notes because, boy, howdy, are we in for a, a ride. And when I say ride, it's a ride of shit. Anyway, what's new? So there is a new feature called Expedition Drone. And in this mode, I'm what I'm assuming is... Um, you, well, it says right here that uh, as of level four, players can access the expedition drone feature as a new tab in the creature tracker menu available for dinosaurs that you already own. Select a map based dinosaur you are looking for, load up your drone with up to 20 darts and send it off to hunt for that creature's DNA. Your expedition drone is guaranteed to return with DNA of this creature within an amount of time determined by the creature's rarity and the amount of darts you have selected. At launch, players will be able to drone map all map-based common, rare, epic, and omega dinosaurs, excluding short-range creatures. So again, the, 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 the disrespect to short-range creatures is uh, unbelievable. And my suspicions were true when I first saw this as a thing. Uh, I, you're not going to get legendaries with this, so I don't think you're going to be able to you know, make an automatic Rexy farm or you know angel or rebel farm or whether what are like you know dracovenator farm like that and i'm pretty sure dracovenator was taken off the map for styracolux so thanks lydia when when i don't need styracolux you give it to me <laughs> but uh, as you can see on the map uh so what i mean three hours for a velociraptor that's 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 a crime right there i can just in three hours i could get four hundred thousand, but as you can see, you can do like a little bit of a slider to uh, see how much DNA you want, send it out for 100 coins. And I'm also assuming that the higher the rarity, the more coins. So I'm, you know, maybe uh, Veloc Velocira, I mean, it's a common, so it's going to be 100 and then maybe 500, 1000, 2000, probably. That's what I'm guessing. But it is a good idea whether they. Uh, get the execution right. I have no no idea. You know how this stuff goes with Lydia. It, it it's it's a toss over, but it is a cool feature. Is it something we need? No, but I mean this does help for people who let's say are disabled and they can't really go places. You can gather yourself DNA, or you know during the midst of COVID when we had that whole pandemic, you could just send a drone out get the creature. And I think you, Beaver even mentioned in his video once. Saying how cool it would be if you could just send a drone off to uh, collect your DNA for you. If I find that clip, I will put it in this video. Because I, I kid you not, bro's a, time, a <coughs> bro's a time reader. So 
whatever that happens with this update, or rather with this feature, uh, will be cool to see. Regardless if it's shit or not, I feel like there will be ways to abuse it, and I'm excited to see how I can make some kind of farm out of this. Uh, as you can see here, we got four new dinosaurs, so... Uh, I'm gonna be real with you guys, it's probably not gonna be four new dinosaurs, because you know how this stuff goes. Every single update for the past, what, four months, four or five months, uh, we've had at least one or two Apexes come out in the past, or a few other uniques, so, I'm, I'm, this is more, this is probably gonna be more like, I don't know, six, six dinosaurs, maybe seven if we're lucky, uh, whoever's giving head to Lydia, <laughs> maybe, maybe they'll bless us with an eighth, but, um, four new dinosaurs as of this update. Again, I could be completely wrong. Anything is possible. It's subject to change. I know that sounds a little bit like NPC-ish, but it, it, it can happen as well. Uh, we have Scorpio Venator. This looks like the Jurassic World, the game Rajasaurus to me, but it's a new, uh, rare nonetheless. And this thing has dispersed cunning strike, sundering, distracting impact, cunning rampage, and on escape group strike so it, it doesn't seem terrible but it i mean again it just kind of seems like it'll be abused by a lot of things something like albertosaurus or actually it depends on if it's quicker if it's quicker than alberto then alberto is kind of screwed it, just, it depends on all the stats but we'll have to wait and see and then we get new baby rhino hell yes i know a lot of people are going to be excited and by a lot of people i mean two people <laughs> so we get protoceratops this thing has been, un I have not seen that many people talk about this, but I'm pretty sure this is one of the smallest uh, Ceratopsians of that lineage. And it is a Fierce Resilient, and it has Blessed Shield Strike, Brace, Fierce Rampage, and Decelerate Encounter. So, that seems pretty good. If it has Swap Prevention, that's also going to be really good. Um, ooh, fierce Rampage, that's... That's that's not that's not terrible. I mean, with brace as well, that's gonna be pretty tanky. Depending on, uh, what its stats are, that's gonna hold up really strong in the epic meta. I mean, nothing really matters anymore. You 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 Terran has just one shot it. So, you know, uh, the good old days of epic formats, and then we get Scorpio Dactylus. So finally, uh, Dimodactylus gets the much needed hybrid that everyone's been wanting. Whether this is the hybrid people have been wanting, uh, I have no idea. But, it is a wild card, so ex that is to be expected, and it is a legendary. And it has Dispersed Cunning Strike, Brief Shielded Distracting Strike, Cleansing Wound Impact, Disarming Impact and Run, Swap in Armored Wound, and Disarming counting, counter, counter Strike. So... It just kind of seems like it does a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of the, uh, not Raja, Scorpio inside of it. And it, it seems niche. I feel like this thing is going to be one of those things where it has like little health, little attack, little speed, um, not much armor. And it's going to be hit with a lot of things such as Rexy, Spinoceratops, Angel, I think is the one that's the fierce. Um, it's just going to be hit by so many things. And plus with the amount of things that can uh, swap, pre swap prevent you, and trap kill you, it, to me, this doesn't seem like one of those things that'll hold up as, nearly as well as, uh, Dimodactylus. I mean, Cleansing Wound Impact is good, but, um, I, I, in my opinion, the Cleansing Swoop is just much better, because you just get out of there, is zero problem whatsoever. Um, this thing, I'm excited for this thing, Proto, Protonodon. And it is finally, we're getting a Protoceratops and Bajotinoidon hybrid. And I, I do like the design of it. I think they could have done maybe a little bit, some, uh, not really. I think the color looks nice. I, it, from what I'm saying here, it's a solid design. If it has a skin, we'll see. But I do like that design. I, I think it's one of the better designs. Ludia seems to do a lot better with uniques than Apexes, I find, so... Please don't give this an apex and ruin that beautiful design. I'm still sick, so I can't talk. Talking only, you know, enhances my suffering. But I digress. Uh, blessed Shield Strike. Instant Fierce Rampage. Blessed Shield Impact. Uh, alert Group Defense. Decelerate Encounter. And Impact on Escape. This thing has been very... Fuck. 
This thing has been very kind to God lately because it is super blessed. Whether or not it'll bless me on the battlefield, I have no no idea. But it, I'm, I'm going to say right now, it looks solid. Um, definitely much better than I was expecting. If I'm not mistaken, impact on escape is the armor piercing impact on escape. So that's very, very strong. Um, the decelerate encounter, you're being hit with a one times hit as well. Alert group defense, that seems, that seems like another, uh, battle ready to me. And I'm hoping it isn't, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, yeah, that like instant fierce rampage as well. That that's gonna be really good for combos. If you can heal, hit, shield, hit again, that's gonna be that's gonna be really tough for your opponent to do anything uh on the battlefield, especially in unique formats where trap killing is a huge thing, especially co- getting your combos. Excuse me. But if this thing is bulky and has above average attack let's just put it around 1450 and i don't know 4700 5000 health ish at level 26 i think this thing will be very very good uh in a general meta i'd say that this is highest to low end of uh highest of low tyrant you know or lowest of mid tyrant or around that range um but in a normal tournament sense i'd say this thing is up there in mid tyrant around the higher ranking we'll have to wait and see again it all just comes down to the stats of what it has if it has swap prevention that's going to be a huge w but so far off paper i'm liking what we're dealing with here um revamped battle menu a lot of this stuff as well it's just like this is this is what the old one looks like but then now this is what the new one looks like I it's just I don't see any point in changing it. Like what, it doesn't benefit us whatsoever. It doesn't, you know, there. It, it doesn't even look nicer. I mean, this just this this looks way better than this piece of stuff. It's shit, but eh, I guess do whatever you have to do. Uh, brawl update. There's just oh fuck. There's just a temporary fix um, going on in Brawl. So whether or not we'll finally be able to use Uniques or Apexes in Brawl, we'll have to wait and see. I have not been able to win a single Brawl because of the fact that I just keep getting absolutely molested by level 30, you know, max boosted legendaries. So I'm hoping that whatever fix they're working on is a good fix. And then on to the... Let's go on ability updates. Let's go on dinosaur updates. But I'm not about to go through every single thing. Bajadasaurus, okay. He got the shovel chin. You got this thing. Mutual Fury got buffed as well, and now it becomes Mutual Bloodthirst. So, cleanse all negative effects. Increase damage by 100% for one turn, two attacks. Increase crit chance by 50% for two turns. And then target all opponents. Increase by 100% for... Okay. Uh, so, you do an extra hit. So, that's good. Uh, let's see, Scaphicanathus, Argentinosaurus, what are they, maybe like 10% blue resistance? No. Charlie, Delta, Echo, Blue, no. Pack Bat Pounce. <coughs> I mean, it's cool that they updated the Raptor pack, but again, this ain't 2019 anymore, nobody really cares. Not even new players really care. They're not going to be like, whoa, Raptor pack, I'm going to need a whole new pair of jeans for this. Uh, you got Pteranodon, Scaffotator, okay, not, not terrible, but again, Fear Strike becomes Group Fear Strike, Distracting Impact, Distressing Impact, Distracting Counter Added, I mean, even the stat buff as well isn't really the best, um, Swap Prevention, it's 50%, that's more like 0%, Damage Over Time, Reduced Damage, okay, so it's alright, but it's still not the best. This one, however, is pretty good. Uh, somebody showed me the Indominus Rex buff, and also Justin, uh, a good friend of mine, made a video on this as well. I didn't watch through the entire video, but I kind of skimmed through it, and I saw Indominus. I'm like, oh, okay, I'll see what Indominus looks like. Indominus is actually pretty good. Uh, armor Piercing Impact becomes Dispersed Fierce Impact. Armor Piercing Rampage becomes Instant Armor Piercing Rampage. And then its speed gets buffed to 111. So that... I think that beats Rexy you now, uh, if they don't go Dominant Roar turn one. But even then, Indominus will kill Rexy, right? 
If it goes for dispersed, then instant armor piercing. Yeah, that kills Rexy. So where that place is in now in a legendary meta, I think that'll really do good. I mean, it still gets its ass, ass kicked by Panthera Blythe, but it also helps it against stuff like Spinoceratops. Not that I needed it to begin with, but now I could, <coughs> now I could kill it way quicker. Um, I, I'll have to give that a little bit of a think, but that's definitely a good buff, and it does help it out against Rexy, Doe. That's really, really good. Buck as well. Not that Buck is a good to begin with, but whatever. Smile is Cephalosaurus. This one gets a buffed. Uh, the Rat. Nobody's called Smile SF the Rat from what I've seen. It's literally all been Draco Ceratops. But Evasive Strike becomes Evasive Decelerating Strike. Deliberate Prowl becomes Instant Evasive Distracting Impact. And then Counter Prowl added. Alert Swap and Stun added. Fucking need some water because my throat is dry right now. Much better. And uh, critical chance decrease from 0 to 75 and swap prevention. What's the point of giving it 50%? Just make it 75% or immune. Just like 50% ain't going to do shit when you got stuff like Sin Raptor and other stuff that'll just uh, like lock you down no matter what. Uh, and then we got my favorite creature in the game. Whereas Justin's favorite legendary is Indominus. Mine is Alicino. Now they need to buff Utah Sino and Pyrotator and we're all good. Uh, so, Alicinosaurus gets a buff. And Armor Piercing Impact becomes Dispersed Fierce Impact. I wish that Indominus Rex got the Fierce. <clears throat> Whereas Indominus Rex got Instant uh, Piercing Rampage. This thing should have got Instant Shattering Rampage. Which would have been... Much better. I'm sorry. I'm dying so much. <coughs> that felt much better. Anyway. Oh, fuck. This is not the first time I've had this stuff in my throat. Okay. Um, so, this thing has um, group vitalize. So, what I think is going to happen is it's going to be basically Concatalox uh, shielded vitalize. Without the shield and priority, so you're just increasing speed and uh, healing yourself, which isn't terrible. We'll have to see what Alicinosaurus uh, can do, but I'm super excited to use this now in Legendary. Uh, critical chance is now 25% and speed decrease 50%, vulnerable 50%, stun 25 Like, again, what's the point? 25%, that's nothing. You might as well have made it like 50 75% or immune. There's just no point in doing this like extra shit. I digress. At least they gave it a buff. Uh, Paramolok. This thing has gotten itself another buff. Shielded Heavy Strike. Mend and Run. Uh, Alert Swap and Brazing Stun. It's got 10% armor. Like, again, Swap Prevention. 75%. It's not that hard for them to do. Whatever, I guess. And then we got Tyrannolophosaur. So, this thing also got a buff. Distracting Impact becomes Sustained Group Distracting Impact. And then Fierce Impact becomes Afflicting Impact. I don't know if afflicting impact is uh, any, like, piercing, but I'm pretty sure not. Or is it the one that uh, Megalania and Sinraptor has? I think that's devious impact. I'm not too sure, but I'm pretty sure it's devious impact. And then now it gets an attack buff, speed buff, damage over time 33%, reduced damage 25%, and then now it has a higher chance of not getting stunned. So, that's all the buff. Bug fixes, um, friendly battles do not start. Thank God that they fixed the friendly battles list. I can finally do friend. Watch. <coughs> friendly battles are going to be even more fucked after this update. I'm calling it. <coughs> oh, God. But, finally, uh, that is the entirety of the Jurassic World Alive set piece uh, patch notes for 3.8. Let me know what you guys thought of this update. Or these patch notes, we'll have to see what the update will bring, but my guess is that we're, again, after the current pass ends for Roger to Rixies, we're going to get another pass for an Apex or two coming out, I'd say, early September, late August. That's my best guess. Don't take this seriously. Take it with a grain of salt, but this is just, I'm going off what has been happening for the past few months. Uh, thank you guys, fuck, thank you guys so much for the support you've left. 
I'm sorry that I haven't been uploading too much. Uh, I just came back from Germany uh, last week, and then I got instantly sick, and then now I'm a little bit better. But don't worry, future like uploads going forward will be uh, much more smoother. But thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, you know, comment down below what you thought of these patch notes and what you'd like to see me try out uh, first. I do have a little bit of a surprise for you uh, on Tuesday, so you'll have to wait and stay tuned for that. But with that being said, I've been your host, Tiger Plays, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.